Welcome winter warmers to our week one at home workout. These workouts are aimed to be just 20 to 30 minutes that you can do at home with little to no equipment when you don't feel like you have that much time. The first one is going to be pretty easy to follow and then as the weeks continue on, I'll make them a little bit longer and a little bit more interesting. So first exercise, we're gonna do 20 body weight squats. Heat Feet hip width apart, toes pointing straight forwards. You can do whatever you want with your arms while you're doing your squats. You can keep them in front of you. If you've got weights at home, you can hold weights either underneath your chin or down by your sides, on your back if you've got a bar. If you've got no weights, totally fine. 10 to go. Make sure you're getting down nice and low. If you can't really tell whether you're getting to that 90 degree angle, you can always pop a low seat, chair, coffee table, something underneath your butt. Make sure you're getting all the way down. Almost there, three, two, and one. Nice work. Next, we're going to do some couch push-ups. So I'm in the gym, not the house, so I'm gonna use a bench, but I recommend using either the back of the couch or if you're a little bit more advanced, you can use the side armrest of the couch. The lower you go, the harder it is. We're gonna do 10 push-ups. I'm just gonna go around the real one. Yes, one. Hands nice and wide, fingers pointing straight forwards. Nice work, we're halfway. Five. You can do it. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent work, shake it off. Shake those arms out. We're going to do backwards alternating lunges now. So, feet hip width apart again, and we're going to step back, bend your knee, and then come back to that starting position, changing legs each time. You can have your arms down by your sides. I always feel like a little bit of a numpty if I'm not doing something with my hands, so I'm just gonna clasp them together in front of me. If you've got weights, again, you can use them. You could use two bottles of wine, two cans of beans or cans of soup. You could use a rilla, that'd be pretty hard. Milk. trying to think of things that you can hold, household items. Dishwashing liquid, laundry detergent, any household item that's heavy really. A backpack full of books. Or body weight is fine. Stepping backwards is easier than stepping forwards, especially if anyone has any knee problems. If you want to make it harder, you could always take it into a forwards alternating lunge. We're almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work, give those legs a break. Coming down onto the mat, or a carpeted surface, something that's a little bit softer. We're going to do 10 sit-ups. Now, when you're doing sit-ups, legs straight is much easier than legs bent. The closer your feet are to your body, the harder it is. Give you a good demonstration. I can sit up perfectly fine with my feet this far away. I move them in a little bit closer. <laughs> I can't get up. So, if you aren't fantastic at sit-ups, you want straight legs and straight arms. Swing your arms back and then use the momentum of your arms swinging to help you up. If you want to make it a bit harder, you can go hands across the chest. Harder again. Sizes in a row here, so we're going to go from sit ups into leg rolling. Lying down flat on your back with your arms out by your sides. Squeeze your tummy down towards the floor. Use your abs to keep your back nice and supported. 
You don't want to have any arching here, no gap between the floor and the, your back. Then you lower your legs and come back up. If you need an easier option, you can do single leg. We're only doing 10 of these, down and up. With any ab exercise, you want to go nice and slow. The slower you go, the harder your abs are going to work. You don't need to take your feet all the way down to the floor. You can, if you can keep your back flat to the ground. I personally find it quite difficult. Once I get past about 45 degrees, my lower back really starts to lift. So I just stick with halfway and then back up. And if you're feeling that pain or lifting the lower back, just stretch, bring the knees into the chest, rest, and then reset and go again. We don't always need to You're not doing it right. Just rest, let your abs recover, and then we'll start again. We're going to use our couch again next, or you could use a dining table chair as well. <sighs> Do I ask Gorilla to move? We'll go around. Don't worry, I'll just lie down not on the mat, it's fine. We're going to do glute bridges with our feet up on our couch or a chair. Lifting the hips up nice and high. We're going to do 12 of these. If you did want to make these harder, you could do single leg. Pointing one leg up in the air. Halfway. Squeeze your bottom at the top of your glute bridge. Really trying to feel it predominantly in your butts. A little bit down through the back of the hamstrings. But if you're feeling the tops of your quads, you're not quite doing it right. And three, squeeze the butt. Two. And one. Coming down onto your mat. You can either clasp your hands together or have your forearms out like this. Make sure that you're not lifting your bottom up in the air or dropping your hips down. Down is worse than up. If you're going up, you're just kind of making it a bit easier. If you're going down, you're actually could be doing damage to your back. So it's better if you're feeling tired, just drop your knees. Stay in a plank-like position rather than just kind of huh, falling out of it and getting your crunchy in your mouth completely. And then when you feel like you can, you could pop back up again. This is a great time to get your phone out or your watch and try and time yourself and see if you can progress. So that's our whole workout for week one, but you're gonna go through that two or three times, up to you. So you've got squats, push-ups, lunges, sit-ups, leg lowers, glute bridges, and a plank. Work through that as many times as you can or as many times as you've got time for.